Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sub08765, aka Jeremy here, bringing you today's topic of the day. What I'm going to talk about today is actually Spotify, which we touched over briefly when we were talking about Sony's plan to make Spotify the backbone of their uh, new music service that they're going to be launching in the next couple months. However, we're going to be talking a little bit of competition for Spotify, and that's going to come in the form of Jay Z, aka Sean Carter who everybody knows is an American rapper and entrepreneur. He's going to be buying the Swedish tech company called Aspiro. And he's going to be buying them for about $56 million. And basically what they do is they currently have a pair of uh, streaming services. Uh, one of them's ad-free, and that's W-I-M-P. And then they have a high-definition one called Tidal. Um, they're kind of more for trending towards higher uh, end users of digital music and a lot of them, the, some of the products they offer are uh, daily track recommendations, uh, special playlists, you know, interviews with the various music artists and then of course they have audio available to stream and download in a uh, FLAC format. Um, so that'll be kind of cool so Jay-Z's looking to buy them. Um, and just to give you a little bit of an idea, um, WIMP has 580,000 paying users, so um, it's kind of cool. And then Title is built off of WIMP, and it was actually launched in the U.S. and U.K. last year. Uh, for $19.99 a month, they get access to 25 million tracks and 75,000 music videos. And then also you can stream and download 16-bit uh, files in FLAC format and this is it's a big markup compared to you know Spotify who charges $9.99 a month but um you know Tidal has a lot more uh, I guess services available on their platform you could say so it's actually gonna be pretty cool so I'm, I'm looking forward to it it might be something that I check out, but uh, I would say that Jay-Z kind of got this idea. I think he was inspired by some other folks, such as, you know, Dr. Dre, and also uh, Neil Young had did some crowdfunding, and they've, you know, made forays into various uh, tech projects like that, but I just thought that was something a little different I would pass along, since we did talk about Spotify, and just something to piggyback and have a little continuity on it. Uh, be sure to leave your... Uh, Thoughts on it below in the comment section if you've heard of it. If not, you know, that's okay too. I definitely, any questions you have, I'd be happy to look them up and research. But, anyways, this has been Sub08765, aka Jeremy. Stay tuned, stay safe.